Mama Ruto, all excellencies here present, the family, I want to take this opportunity to convey my condolence to the family of our second president, and indeed on behalf of the people of Nakuru, to acknowledge that he was one of us, and in a big way, we also feel honored that you have all come to lay him here in Nakuru. I just want to say one or two things. I will invite the chairman of the Council of Governors to just give his speech on behalf of all the other governors and probably tell them to stand. But on behalf of the people of Nakuru, allow me just to remember Mze in two ways. One, I want to remember Mze as a leader who despite his success, never forgot where he came from. His connection with the ordinary people was exemplary. And I think in no other greater way do we see it than even in his residence in Nairobi. Kibera is not your typical residence for VIP, but it was a residence for the president, and when he was vice president, for a whole 24 years. So that connection with the public was amazing. And here, even in Akuru, many will remember around 1985, well, uh, he was here. There was a problem we had around one of the schools around here. A young kid, about nine years old, had been diagnosed with a heart condition. And uh, they required about half a million to take the kid for medication out of the country. And they looked for money all over, and at that time, you could not get 500,000. They could not get that kind of money. So, finally, the word got to the president that there was a young girl in the neighborhood who required support. The president went met the community, and from that particular point, the plight of that nine-year-old girl was no longer a problem for that particular community, but a national problem. That young girl was Masi Jerry. Just two kilometers down here, the president facilitated that child, went to the UK, got treatment, but unfortunately did not make it. But in those little moments and actions that he did, we recognize him for the great work that he did, and more so specifically for that. We also remember him for his all the time that he was in office. He would be in Nakuru by Thursday or Friday and leave around Monday. So the Nakuru hospitality section blossomed during that time because all delegations from across Kenya that wanted to see the president were here. Some could not make it on the day, and so they kept on coming. And I think that as Nakuru, we remember him for his great contribution to the economy of Nakuru and how we have kept on going up to this date. I would want to end by saying that um, for Kabarak, Kabarak was not just a home, was not just a farm. Kabarak is an institution. An institution where great conversations about this country were held, an institution where great discussions on how we can make the best of our country have been held over time. I want to put this challenge to the family mainly that even as we rest Mze, Kabarak must remain that institution where we seek counsel, where we come to discuss, and where we find solace. And I think as has been said here, Mze had a knack for knowing all his friends. When they succeeded, when they lost, he would always call them. And he had long-term friends. And I think that is very important to note for us. Lastly, allow me also to note that the president believed, the, the fallen president, believed in the unity of the country. And for that matter, through his clarion call of peace, love, and unity, did everything he could to ensure that the country was united. And today, as we sit here to remember him, we are happy that what he sought in life, we have also achieved it in his death. That the whole nation sits here together, we have forgotten all our differences, and for once, we are thinking about mourning our fallen second president. Thank you very much, and I will uh, invite the chairman Oparanya to come and make a quick uh, tribute on behalf of all our other governors and probably also introduce them briefly. Thank you, and may God bless you. Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Mama Margaret, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, and Mama Ruto,